love my coffees. All right, so today's vlog is gonna be specifically a one topic, relationships. There's this rule or this saying, you can't be friends after a breakup. And my response to that, to that saying is, or that rule is, why? Why can't you be friends after you break up with your significant other? So, that rule that you can't be friends after a breakup, there are many, there are many reasons why I hate the rule so much. There are multiple reasons why, but the three, there are three reasons that I can think up with, that I, think, I can think of that really bothers me the most is, well, for starters, one, lingering feelings. Two, not being, not being able to date anyone else. Three is, uh, I had it, what the hell, I had it. Oh, awkwardness, awkwardness. If you think about it this way, you know what, I'm just gonna, I, I can't talk about, I had to draw this out in order to make you guys understand this. So, give me a second. There's actually four reasons I thought of the fourth one already, and it's jealousy. Jealousy. Can you see that? It's a little too dark, hold on, give me a second. All right, much better. Not being to date anyone else, that's not a good legitimate reason. It's really not. If you think about it, if you don't, if you can't date anyone else, that just, that just means that you still, you still have feelings for that other, for the person that you broke up with. And if that's the case, why did you guys even break up in the first place? If you guys still have feelings for each other, why don't you guys just talk about it? Why fight the feeling? If you can't bear the thought of them being with somebody else, fight for them back. Fight until the day, until that moment where you see that everything that you do, Every single thing that you can think up with goes to the exact same result that you've been getting. Then that's the time you should just give up. And that's the time where you should just move on. The three main reasons why. There are multiple reasons, but the only ones I can think of right now are three. The three main reasons why I hate that rule. The three reasons why is you have lost someone that means the world to you. It's been ripped out of your life is the worst feeling you lost your best friend that basically means the same thing but you lost your best friend right there and you lost a huge chunk of your heart of your world because of that rule it's ridiculous of how many people believe that that rule is true I personally refuse to believe it I personally refuse to but if the other person believes in that and you don't, no matter how hard you try to fight for them, no matter how hard you try to be there still in their life, it doesn't work. It will apply if that other person doesn't agree with what you believe in. And it sucks. It just sucks to lose someone that means so much to you. That stood somewhere deep in your heart. And just because of that one rule. I lost someone really special to me. Believing that rule is not always a bad thing. I hate it, but it's just, it's a way to protect yourself. It's a way to make sure that you won't get hurt, and I completely, if, that, if that's the reason why you follow that rule, I have no problem with it, like that, that makes sense to me. Alright, so that's all I had to say. Thanks for hearing me out. I need to get that off my chest. I'll do something more fun, more positive in the next vlog, okay? See you guys in the next video.